Right. In problem number 26 of section 1.4, we're asked to evaluate the integral of the square root of x squared minus 1. Uh, now, if we look at x squared minus 1, we see that it uh, kind of resembles a little bit uh, the identity um, center squared of x uh, equals cos squared of x minus 1, if we just uh, rearrange it a little bit from its usual form. Uh, so if we can kind of somehow make this look like cos squared of x minus 1, uh, then we can write the square root of cinch squared just in terms of cinch. Uh, so that kind of gives us the idea to make the substitution uh, theta equals um, inverse cos of um, x over 1 or just x. And that's because if we take the um, hyperbolic cosine of both sides, we get cosh of theta, uh, which should be x, not 1. So cosh of theta uh, is just equal to x. Um, so now we can actually substitute an integrand and actually make it look similar to this. The only thing we need to be careful of is now we're writing uh, the integral in terms of theta, so we need to change dx uh, to something in terms of uh, theta. We have dx uh, is equal to uh, the derivative of uh, cosh of theta. So uh, dx is equal to cinch of theta. And we can now rewrite the integral as integral of uh, square root of x squared or cosh squared of theta uh, minus 1 uh, times cinch of theta uh, d theta. Uh, that's right, there should be a d theta right there. Right, so now we can rewrite this as square root of sine squared or cinch squared of theta uh, times cinch of theta d theta and it's going to be now equal to uh, integral of cinch, uh, cinch squared of theta uh, d theta. Now the trick here is to use a um, hyperbolic or uh, hyperbolic trig identity, uh, which says that uh, cinch squared of theta is equal to uh, cosh of 2 theta minus 1 uh, over 2. So now, using this identity, we can rewrite the Integral as integral of cosh of 2 theta minus 1 uh, all over 2 d theta. And then this becomes uh, 1 half times now integral of cosh of 2 theta will be 1 half. cinch of theta, and we have minus 1, so the integral, or the integral of minus 1 is uh, just theta. And this is equal to, or an n plus a constant. And let's see. Right, and then now we can finally rewrite this as uh, cinch uh, theta over 4 uh, minus theta over 2 plus a constant. Now, this is our answer in terms of theta, but really we want our answer in terms of x since that's how the question was originally phrased. And see that uh, theta is equal to just the inverse uh, of cosh, so we can just substitute that right in for our answer, and we'll see that. Uh, the answer, or the 
value of the original integral is equal to uh, cinch of inverse cosh of x uh, over 4. minus inverse cosh of x over 2 plus a constant. And that's the end of number 26.